my dear students moderators coordinators and uh, the dynamic professor raja uh, nice to have you on the third day once again thank you so much for giving me this opportunity again and again and uh, for the students to know you would have seen this milan now uh, in the screen i really don't know whether you you know about this or care about this or not this is an annual festival which we have in srmis campus katangulutur every year and uh, there is lot of students across the country will come and join and have the great celebrations people come in lakhs together and lot of celebrities uh, no international uh, celebrities national celebrities local celebrities, everybody will join and felicitate the program and uh, that's going to be a very great session like that we also have some called arush and many other events happens once you come to the campus and that's it you will be more flattened you know such a way of campus we have and for others we like to tell you uh, what means sr sr means ramasami memorial sri ramasami memorial so it is called sri ramasami memorial institute of technology so sr mist that's what it is for many people who don't know uh, and uh, also you know it has been headed and led by dr sandeep sanchetti vice chancellor of sr mist and uh, he is heading four campuses one is sr mist katangulutu and uh, one more at ramavaram campus chennai one more at varabalni campus chennai and one more at modi nagar ncr campus delhi so all these things all these four campus comes under the umbrella of dr San sandeep sanjati vice chancellor sr mist of course apart from that we also have a different universities uh, different campuses at amravati trichy and many other places in the country in and out of the country this is all headed by different uh, experts so just for your information apart from that we also have a campus life and uh, we have campus directors and they take up campus and uh, there's something called international relations external affairs and they take care of the international affairs because they take you to semester abroad program you can travel outside the country and uh, do your education for one or two semesters and they also take you for international tour they also do take you have mou and uh, you have exchange programs many things will be done by that ir department and we also have qar quality assurance and ranking we have a separate department they take care of the quality controls and uh, something like nir of ranking and all these stuffs and we also have something called alumni affairs they we, we this is born in 1985 and this architecture is born in 1992 in srm ist and uh, probably almost 28 years and we have a full set of 28 years of alumni and uh, that alumni is uh, department is taken up by other uh, head like that it keeps going on in srm ist campus the 250 acres we have a medical college engineering college uh, arts and science college law college management college and what not all college like other allied services like uh, med uh, nursing uh, physiotherapy homeopathy siddha yoga and all these stuffs all these things along with we have a school of architecture and design very dynamic performing so that's how it is about it and uh, once you come to campus you fall in love and that's the way of living and that's so cosmo and uh, you will enjoy the session it will become a child we keep playing enjoying not only with the campus but also with the faculty with the environment and also especially with the course the course itself is designed in such a way that that's going to be excellent amazing you will live the life for the five years and of course that will continue through the life that's what it is thank you very much for the opportunity given let's celebrate today and every day throughout life all the best thank you thank you so much dean sir uh so uh i would like to once again repeat my request for all the new entrants who have just joined in kindly rename yourself with the srn nt number given by our tutor sir in the whatsapp group as you had registered along with your name following it kindly do it so that we it will be easy for us to call you and put your videos on you are you you are this is a recorded uh, session we will be observing your participation and this carries weightage in the in the evaluation process for us to know how active and interactive you are please i very often see many of the videos are not not being put on kindly put it in and for those who have not introduced themselves and given the application number in the whatsapp group 
kindly put it in so that we could record your registration so that we could also send in the information easily to you because we will be calling on your applications for the personal interview and for all the interview calls will be this number this registration number is going to be the clue list for us to call you in so kindly for those who have not introduced themselves and given the number kindly do so after the session in the whatsapp group now i call upon our dear professor raja to rock again thank you very good morning my dear friends and uh, thank you so much for uh, you know for your posters paintings your photographs you have sent uh, you know almost around till 1 uh, o'clock in the night uh, uh, it was pinging and i just wanted to see because it was i was so enthusiastic to see the kind of work which you are doing nadira you can put 100 srnt 100 for you you are the 100 person no nadira you put rename it as srnnt 100 nadira sultan how beautiful it will be ah huh? 100 you are the 100th person thank you so today's class is a very important class guys today's class we are actually going to jump uh, from a artistical perspective of looking at uh, our uh, uh, entire program a small geometrical way how we actually convey our message so it's very important how we convey our uh, message in all our photographs and you know uh, please be online i think sir sometimes portions which are involved let me let me share my uh, um, powerpoint presentation and we'll have a discussion okay can you see my powerpoint presentation all of you can yes, see sir. yes okay. yes sir it's clear so let's celebrate life for another one more day and you're going to celebrate every day we saw today the milan festival also i've been to this milan festival it's like rocking performances everywhere the people are so creative always architectural department comes alive you know most of the people actually you know uh, they they actually appreciate uh, architectural department like anything in the milan festival it's a wonderful uh, festival i hope you all will be part of uh, uh, next year's uh, milan festival so today we are actually going to talk about a very serious thing it is a very important thing as far as nata is also concerned because nata is actually trying to understand what is the geometrical value which you have first we actually talked about artistical value and expression of artist artisticness in you and uh, the the creative manipulation which you have the aesthetic sensitivity is really tested so today uh, nata is asking for how well you can actually relate those uh, beautiful things in the nature to the geometry because as an architect you are actually going to reproduce or bio mimic the nature through the geometry so you must have actually a knowledge about geometry this is all what we have actually studied in our first standard second standard and fifth standard it might look so familiar to you uh, now we'll actually talk about three projections one is oblique projections an isometric orthographic projection then i will actually come to your combination of solids addition subtraction and interactions happen question number 1 we will actually pull it now can i ask you can we see all the sides of a solid yes or no in real life through your eyes all of you are great uh, you know like um, people you know who have actually done lots of work can you see all the sides of a solid So good. All of you woke up now. Actually, can you see the all the sides of a solid? I think there is some transparent persons here. 
12 of them actually have transparent eyes to uh, they actually see a solid maybe they thought like i'm talking about a glass surface you know maybe that is the reason why they could this, could see the other side also it's great a solid you cannot see all the sides of a solid unless it is actually a glass okay so we'll share the results and we'll go to the class directly here we are actually a line which we talked about when line is projected a line is projected just imagine this is just a paper which you are having a white paper which you are having a line is actually projected a volume is actually getting created we already talked about our shapes and we talked about the solids how well a paper is actually translating as a medium to uh, speak about a, a, a volume in a plane you know different planes like you know say for an example if you have an axis you have an x and y axis you have z data axis but z axis cannot be seen that is not in the paper but you actually visualize z axis which is coming into your eyes this is what we actually visualize through the paper when a line is projected a volume is created as you can see the dotted lines which i have put are the wall the plane in which the volume is actually created now in normal circumstances see i'm taking this in a very easy way for you to understand and answer your not a questions clearly you know be very cautious you know be attentive and try to understand everything so that it is easy for you there are lots of questions which are asked uh, in this uh, subject okay so this uh, all all those aptitude questions and geometrical questions are asked from this subject so kindly be attentive and try to understand if you don't understand anything you just ping me this is a top plane which we call this is the bottom plane which we call this is a side plane this is a side plane which you have these are four things when it is actually projected in an angle we get this kind of planes you know like you can see a room here which has got top bottom side planes a base projections in architecture a 2d plane is actually getting converted into a 3d plane with original surfaces please understand when a dimension is given it actually replicate the originality of the entire fabric so 2d is actually becoming a 3d as a cube you can see in some of the surfaces you cannot see some of the surfaces the 3d plane with original surfaces but in uh, architecture we try to see these uh, projections through different mediums of understanding they are called as one is a perspective projection second is isometric projection third is an oblique projection there are two important things the perspective and isometric projection are original projections a oblique projection is an understanding of these plates we will actually go and try to understand question number 3 how many surfaces are there in a cube i request all of you to answer there is a poll which is there on top of your screen so click the poll this is very important question which we are asking now so all of you poll yes almost all of you are polled so thank you i think most of them have actually come up with the right answer that is six actually the surfaces are very very important it is a very very important lesson to be learned for an architect for an architect it's a very important i have actually talked about an artist and an architect you know an artist is a person actually create some imaginary thing but an architect is a person who creates imaginary thing at the same time he creates it on originality that means that thing will be there in original in real that is the most important factor when you actually do everything in real you have to have all the dimensions intact 
the artist actually sometimes actually hides so many things he uses shading and all the devices and try to hide what is there in the behind if suppose for an example a girl's portrait is actually designed a girl is actually not having a, a hair in the back still he can actually create a beautiful i mean everyone is a beautiful one but he can actually make uh, it look like she has lots of of hair so that is the uh, falsifying thing which can an artist can do but an architect cannot do it i cannot make my three faces so beautiful and one face ugly so you have to know the surfaces very well all the surfaces has to be understood so this is the idea that is the reason why we are learning this this is a cube okay there is a small cube please attentive there is a cube which we are actually seeing there are four squares in the cube this is all we know there are four squares in the cube this is called a surface development in nata examination they will be asking surface development specifically they will be asking surface development the 1 2 3 cube say for an example if i actually hide the view top view can i actually can i actually take this top view and put it in number 5 can i actually take the bottom view and put it in number 4 yes everyone is everyone is actually looking the same so whenever you actually see a cube or anything like that go home practice with the cube and try to identify everything through a number or a b c d alphabets you try to actually name them every surface has to be named when it comes to a cube there are six faces the six uh, i've written wrongly it's five uh, it are six faces the six faces has to be actually absolutely correct the six faces has to give a different variety when you actually use a light what will happen the number one top view will actually be bright number two bottom will be absolutely dark number three front view actually will have, will will have a, a medium or kind of density towards the shading fourth view will actually have a brightness side views may actually have a darkness in it so you please be very clear whenever you are actually drawing a beautiful surface surface or any kind of a solid try to name it in architectural terms it is called as plan bottom plan front elevations rear elevation and side elevations you know this is the way it is actually called from 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh in my architectural classes usually what i do i request my kids to actually make this kind of a cross a latin cross kind of a thing which i really uh, ask them to make there's a 1 2 3 4 5 6 squares together in a cardboard or in a, in a in a sheet actually a thick sheet i ask them to actually make no you actually make them you know in your house you actually make it with a small little uh, paper surface development of a cube can be actually done like that see this is actually done by one of my uh, architectural aspirant a student of mine she had done this uh, beautiful thing she cut it she used a cutter and she got this beautiful thing after getting this folding and unfolding of solid creates possibility of many creations so once you actually start learning this through a medium see model making is a very important thing as far as architecture is concerned model making actually gives you all the surfaces you can see all the surfaces you are talking about only two surfaces now through art uh, but in surfaces all the surfaces to understand you have to actually understand in this way one day so you have to actually go make this kind of a surface development try to understand this is what has been done by our uh, students the cube what is this what is this what is this you have to actually tell me you actually make all these things and put it in your google group, uh, nata group and uh, you know how well you can actually understand everything it is not only all these four you can create as many as you want and try to understand how many surfaces are there i tell you uh, my dear students do it you will get 5 marks you will get 5 marks in that 75 marks absolutely i i tell you seriously the first aptitude is cleared by you do it do it and you will be cleared you don't need to actually you know do your questions and answers you do this and you will be actually on this is the question which is asked in nata which one of the answer figures shows the correct view of the problem figure after the problem figure is opened up 
So they have given a problem figure here and they actually opened it up. Okay. Now what you usually students do? Okay. Immediately they will do is like, okay, inky, pinky, bonky, father as a donkey, donkey, like that. They try. Some people actually might, you know, okay, one, two, three, four, five. It's like, you know, they actually imaginatively do, do this. Don't do it. As uh, I told you, you mark the surfaces. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Try to visualize the other side also. You've already done, done this folding uh, paper that you can easily answer this question. In a second, you will answer this question. So try to do it. Take a time. Take a time. Take your own time answering the questions. Okay. Then another development which is given here, the development of a lateral surfaces of a pentagonal pyramid is, so they are asking lateral surfaces. So they're talking about a surface development. So you have to actually answer them. They have clearly given you a beautiful picture. You can easily say how many rectangles, how many squares, how many triangles, how many circles are there. You can answer it very clearly and easily. So you can, you can, you know, always see this. You try to actually develop that pentagonal pyramids or any form which you want to claim. I tell you, now you go home, try to actually make these cubes, you know, color every cube, every cube you color it. Tomorrow Aravind sir is going to give you a color theory. After that, you will realize that, you know, what are the colors which you have to actually make it so that, you know, one, two, three, four, five can actually be repeated. Question number three. When we see a line projected in a paper, you feel the line in three dimension, yes or no? Students, the poll is on, you can answer the poll. I think people are getting confused. My dear friends, I think we need to actually introspect and we have to see all the lines which we project in the field. It can actually give you a feel of three dimension. There is no doubt about that actually. You know, like, so we will actually go ahead and we'll see how it is done. Oblique projection. The first one, which is called as public projection. As you can see, whenever you draw, take an X axis, you can see the arrow here. This is the x-axis. There is an arrow which is here that is y-axis. So this is what you are going to do in your life from today onwards. It is a great pattern in which you are going to work. You must know what is an x-axis and what is an y-axis. They call it UCS, UCS Universal Coordinate System. So we learn about that, but it's simple. Just to think that you know it is a line. I have made a line here that is called as a picture plane. A picture plane is a defined line, okay? So, when it comes to an oblique projection, see, this object is kept like an elevational way. That means it is intact in this way. See, it is like this way only, okay? But in the picture plane, in the oblique projection, they try to project it like this. They try to project it like this, okay? This is... Raja sir, uh, we will have him back. Uh, I guess he's having a little bit of bandwidth issues. So, what you know? There is no angle. This yeah. Yeah, yes. next is yeah, in oblique projection. What is oblique projection? So, okay, in oblique drawings, one set of planes of the object is always presented in it. That means one face will be there in true shape that means there is only one face which will be actually true shape from those true shapes there are parallel lines connected to there are parallel lines can be drawn at an angle any angle 45 degrees angle to represent the perpendicular to them so in all of, uh, you have to understand this clearly uh, you have sub aapko samajna bhi chahiye that's very very important you try to understand Try to learn. Uh, these lines which represent the perpendiculars to the true shape planes are called as 
receding lines now last uh, i have given you a last line where there were receding lines uh, those receding lines are imaginary lines i am just comparing an isometric with the oblique so that is the reason why i am telling this do not actually put that in a very deeper sense this is what actually you have to understand all planes parallel to the picture plane are true shape areas and are all drawn at the same scale on the drawing that means now you are actually keeping a picture plane the front one which is there in the picture plane is the true shape you know the front one which is there in the picture plane is the true shape the residing line which is being taken are not true it is actually an imaginary one see that doesn't have a dimension correct dimension it may actually in a vertical perpendicular way so that is what you have to understand from an oblique connection from those two shape areas parallel lines can be drawn at an angle to represent perpendicular to them these lines which represent the perpendicular to the true shape planes are called as the uh, they are actually changing the they are changing the uh, uh, they are changing the true uh, true value of the system which is already there second is a very 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 important thing that is isometric projections you know isometric projections my dear friends are true they are actually giving you a dimension all the architectural work in the world when it comes to detailing you all know about perspective and painting but when it comes to detailing people actually go for isometric drawing because isometric gives you a dimension true dimension of the entire object here in this picture which i have drawn in a slate if you can see there is a picture plane here there is a angle of z axis which is being taken there is an angle of z axis this is an x axis this is the z axis which is actually proceeding the receding line you see receding line which you saw it in uh, uh, in when saw it in oblique projection is an imaginary line but here this is a true dimension at an angle of 30 degrees this length which is actually given here is the original form of that uh, square that square is uh, the cube is actually tilted and it is giving a true dimension here true dimension here this is all called as original true residing lines they'll be asking this the x axis and the y axis is there an isometric the object is turned so that all three axis lines are in the same angle say it is like that it is actually changed in an angle of 30 degrees and everything is in an angle with the picture plane since the three axis lines are mutually perpendicular their projections still make equal angles with each other that means it's all going to make a equal angle and it's going to create a beautiful geometry the geometry will be perfect geometry that means the geometry will be a, a true geometry with a true dimension in an isometric drawing when a cube is drawn all three faces will be exactly the same size and shape whatever the directions of the axis line so all will be actually of the exact same line we'll go to the picture and see it is all the same here you know all the all the dimensions are actually same here and the shape whatever directions of the side regardless of the directions of the axis the three visible faces or faces of the object are always turned at the same angle to the picture plane so it is all turned at the same angle to the picture plane you can see the uh, faces here uh, the faces which we talked about the six faces which we talked about isometric drawings gives only one picture no variation of the picture is possible no variation of the picture is possible in a perspective it is different but in an isometric isometric is a true value of a system true value of a geometry it gives only one picture no variation of a picture can be possible because it actually gives you the true dimension of the cube which we have talked about uh, spoken about those squares which were equal the squares will be equal here also in an isometric drawing one axis is vertical and other two are drawing at 30 degrees to the horizontal plane please always remember in an isometric drawing whenever you draw an isometric drawing in the combination or combination of solids in nata questions they actually ask you to make an isometric drawing please remember one thing very very clearly because in isometric drawing only you'll be going to actually make those combination combination of solids so make sure 
never in all the views the vertical line will be vertical in perspective vertical line will be vertical oblique vertical line will be vertical in uh, isometric vertical line will be vertical no change Uh, uh, perspective in an angle, uh, uh, vertical line also. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yeah, the vertical line is also tilted because of the vertical line which is tilted. Uh, you might actually get a bad picture. Usually, all the students actually make this mistake. Though we are very good in because they are very creative, they actually make lots of paintings and all. They tend to actually make it, you know, it an angular angular way. So make sure that you don't make it in an angular way. Question number four. What is a plan? Okay, most of you have actually said that it is the top view. Yes, correct. In architectural term, plan means it is a top view of the building of anything which is which we draw. So that is a top view. We'll now talk about the top views, the front views, and side views because in NATA they ask these questions very frequently. There are so many questions. They want you to understand. how well you are relating the three dimension to two dimension it's very very important how you actually relate the two dimension to three dimension so it's very important how you actually make it so we will actually talk about how those projections are actually done here isometric projections of identification if you say i i am actually putting a pictorial here in this picture you can actually see there is a top view which is been done here there is a top view which is been done here how to identify a top view but the top view is only this much is it true no is it this much true i think there are some people who actually make an angle also of it you know sometimes when they actually make a top view try to understand you actually understand the edges very well after understanding the edges there will be one end only one edge to a vertical line by doing that you will get a perfect top line so this is the top view which is called as a plan from an isometric drawing only they will be asking all this question there is a right view they will be asking there will be a front view they will be asking there will be a left view they will be asking you try to identify the surfaces to the naming of surfaces 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so you keep on actually naming them before answering the question in nata or in srm question paper okay try to identify the surfaces to the naming of surfaces and imagine and work i'll actually give you some suggestion and some tips also regarding that in this picture you have to draw this picture for your exercise just imagine there are lots of things which are happening there is a small little projection here there is a small little projection here there are some holes which are here there is another projection here see whenever you actually you know make any drawing of isometric try to remember only one thing all are solids in entire fabric entire nature whatever you draw all actually are from the solid basic solids so try to identify this is what this is a cube void this is a cube void this is what you just try to understand this is a cube void then you can see there is a cylinder which is actually inside today we'll be talking about additions and subtractions also you actually try to relate this with the prism try to relate something with the triangle so when you actually try to relate all these things with that imagine in that way then you will be able to actually relate anything you can easily draw all these things if you relate them with the basic fundamental or solids and shapes isometric projection identification say this is the answer for what we have actually drawn here so identify the edges first 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the edges has to be really understood properly if you understand this edge then you can easily actually correspond that edge here 
there is a easy correspondence of this h here there is a easy correspondence of other h here so you keep on actually understanding that in a proper way you can make everything absolutely fine so you have to project it and get this identification of the the space which you have actually made so try to make it don't actually make any hidden lines okay uh, but i would i have actually made these hidden lines for you to understand what exactly is there in that okay so identify the edge edges project it with the lines project it with the lines imagine the plane theek hai always imagine the plane try to imagine what is a top plane what is a side plane and what is the front plane by doing that you can easily imagine and draw this but see i tell you most of the people make mistakes in nata examination and je paper too also whenever they are actually given this uh, uh, exa this uh, this pattern they are like you know very lethargic about this thing so they make lots of mistake because see the the, the examiners also are giving uh, wrong answers you know like they are very calculative with your wrong answers you know you are you are thinking that Uh, they are working more for the wrong answers whenever i set a question paper i tell you i work more for the wrong answer than for the right answer okay so they work so hard they try to confuse you so try actually in an mcq format always remember you try to solve that question when you come out of the examination hall don't ask abarajita abai sanju is it correct no you should never ask that question you should tell to yourself yes i am correct raja has done the right job raja has really actually worked on that program and he has done it don't ask question fourth question what was the answer fifth question what was the answer you know the solutions why are you asking the uh, asking the other people isometric projections i am giving you some practice exercises this is one practice exercise which is very useful for you because you know it gives you a same view so try to actually make this uh, small uh, small uh, composition with a plan view and the front view on the side view and try to work see i have given step by step so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and it keeps on getting complicated okay so what you do you work on the entire page take a photograph and i'll send you the pdf also this one you actually you know do it i tell you 10 marks extra so you got 15 marks now okay so nata you can actually you know at least now you passed nata examination you are in srm college srm mist okay in said they are in okay i am just telling you how this uh, is done in machine drawing and all i don't want to actually explain but uh, you can see the detailing which is done in this machine drawing here wonderfully done so the plumber's block is been actually done in a very isometric way this is an architectural detail which has been done again you can see lots of detailing which has been done you know like they have done it a beautiful way this is how the isometric is actually done second is an orthographic projection how we actually get the plans see basically i told you in the isometric itself but they are called as orthographic projection they actually have to project okay take a cube and try to actually take this residing this is the first exercise which you have to do just take a cube take a residing line and mark it a b c d e f then you actually take a projection and try to actually make that projection on top try to make the projection on the side take to vision see this has been actually done in a uh, in a different way still i actually want to show you because this is enough for you to understand the basic format so you project all these things e is here a is here c is here b is here by doing this you'll be able to actually get everything correct use parallel lines to project its outline onto a plane you know try to actually you know use a parallel line to project it outline on the plane this is one nata question which they have asked uh, the 3d problem image which is shown here of a given object identify the current front view from the uh, from among the answers figures uh, looking in the direction most of the people i think they actually go for this answer because they are all artistic people very creative usually they think in an angular way they actually keep on thinking and they actually put this answer so identify the surface by naming them first surface a name panunga pehle aap jaake surface ko name kariyega identify the surface by naming them which is view which view is asked ask them like they are asking front view front view they are saying front view anu pretty i will give you i'll give you a time question and answer na 
I'll give you uh, because I am just fi finishing it off. Once we finish, we'll have a question and answer. Identify surface by naming them first, which is which view is asked. Eh? Not check that, check that, uh, underline that which view is asked. Check for that front view. There will be more questions for the SRMIST entrance examination also. You pre be prepared, all of you 100 people, be prepared for that, okay? Check for the front view. Look at the direction given in the problem sheet, okay? Look at the problem which is given in the problem sheet. Which direction? No, there is a direction which is given. You look at for that and solve the problem. So I come to a conclusion of isometric and projections, which we will actually discuss about one of the questions. Now I'm actually going to talk about addition, subtraction, interaction, intersection of solids. It is a very important thing. See, uh, Raja is there, okay? I, I, how, why I'm beautiful or I'm handsome? I'm handsome, okay, no problem. I'm handsome because I have a spear in my head, you know? I have a spear, right? I, am, I have a spear, a round spear. Then I have, see, there is a small little prism which is there, like my nose tinting. Okay, and I have a rectangular body. See, I have a rectangular body. See, can you see? This is a cylindrical neck I have. I don't know whether it is cylindrical, but take it. Okay, no problem. Just think me as, uh, you know, Shahrukh Khan or something like that. Okay, so like, uh, it's a, like neck, neck you have, say, the beautiful neck which I have, say. Ne neck is a cylinder, okay? Even Shah Rukh Khan is having the same neck, but you know, he's having more money in the car. I have a small neck. Okay. Addition, subtraction, and intersection of solids. Okay. So, yes, spear is added to the cylinder. A cylinder is added to a cuboid. You know, like when these kind of, you know, additions happen, they create a magic, that magic. Now, you see my eyes, okay? Train. It's gone, trying, gone. If suppose for an example, if it is a literally a spear, what will happen? I look ugly, okay? Because there is a subtraction which has actually happened. Some people like, you know, Shah Rukh can get a ting here, okay? I don't know, what, is, what do you call for this? You get a ting here, okay? That ding gets... Huh? Dimple. Oh uh, dimple, okay, sorry. Dimple, I know dimple, kabadi, right? Uh, okay. Uh, this dimple, like uh, somebody was asking me, eh? dimple is here, okay? This dimple is actually created out of a subtraction. You know, like this is also interesting. So this is what actually happened. Question number five, when two solids come together, they form an interesting solid. Agree or disagree? Very good. Everyone is attentive. Very attentive. Very good. Some four or five people are not waking up from their uh, thing, huh? or just sipping a coffee. Hmm? Sir, wait for sir. So three, four people have to actually do it. Uh, let's wait. We'll wait today. So I'm waiting. Waiting. It's yes. only eighty-six percent. Is eight more people has to do it. So we are also four five people. <laughs> yes, that's the that's the SRMIST people. Yeah, come on. Ah, all of what it really beautiful. 96% said yes. Two solids come together, they form a beautiful, interesting solid. Yes, this is correct. Because you know, two solids in my head is actually making me a beautiful Aishwarya Rai is so beautiful and Deepika Patukone is actually so beautiful because of that, okay? Uh, so, uh, it's all those solids which are coming together, okay? So, next, uh, uh, there, uh, everyone loves it. I also love it, okay? See, addition and subtraction and intersection, okay? A beautiful cake, okay? Great cake is there, actually. A birthday cake which is actually given, okay? A birthday cake is a beautiful form of a solid, Ah. Uh, some uh, your sister actually or your brother actually takes one piece of it and uh, what is this it is a prism which he has taken it out yes he has taken out so tomorrow you actually go and tell your uh, uh, amma uh, when she actually is making a chapati ma uh, ma you are making a circle okay good you are making a circle tomorrow you actually eat a pizza and cut a pizza 
you tell your friend say i am taking a triangle with me okay it's a beautiful triangle which you are taking okay so when you when you are eating a cone ice cream huh? then you tell your uh, people there is an addition happening you have to just keep on talking to your father and mother like this you know see there is an addition happening now your mother will be shocked because architects are like that only so mother will be shocked what happened to this kid you know what happened to shreya what happened to nega or what happened to uh, ashwin you know like uh, why he is talking about a spear uh, and all the times like you were actually and after that whenever you are actually actually licking that uh, you know this ice cream what will happen the spear will go away only the cone will be there so you tell the people like to, to the to your friends see here i had a composition of a uh, uh, spear and i had a composition of a cone now i have left with only cone you know like after that you will eat that cone also uh, you will be left with nothing or you will be like okay next cone you give me mom please give me one more cone so that i can actually experiment on it again okay. then uh, mom is actually putting a idli on your idli tawa so uh, idli cooker and she gets a idli tell her wow what a beautiful uh, no you what you have made ma'am ma amma amma you have made a half half spear like you have made four half spears then tell your friend you know like tell your friend or mom mom you are not at all actually you know uh, so uh, you know you are, you don't have love with me you are not actually giving me a cake uh, a big cake give me an additional cake so double decker cake you can actually give and try to cut these cakes like that also put a gems on top of it and try to understand take these pizzas out and find out how many uh, triangles which you can find it out so by doing all these things you can actually enhance your quality enhance you actually becoming a great architect addition and subtraction and intersection of the solids whenever you actually do lots of subtractions interact intersections and additions you get wonderful objects you know uh, it's always i always tell people that you know whenever you actually take a clay or you know like you just punch punch somebody's face you know just punch somebody's face very strongly then they will get a bulge okay now beautiful addition you have done okay so you all keep on doing that you know don't punch her uh, raja sir said in the morning uh, punch and make make a, a big uh, big uh, spear in his head uh, don't do it ah huh? okay this is what you have to actually do addition subtraction and intersection of solids you practice this don't practice on anybody's uh, uh, you know nose or anywhere like you know uh, this is what you have to do intersection you just keep on actually doing those subtra- uh, additions subtractions and intersections they'll make you more happier and more uh, combination of solids will actually start happening and the addition and subtraction and intersection identify how many addition subtraction and intersections are there you know you have to go home you know like take this picture and try to identify this is an isometric which is drawn by one of the nata students of mine try to actually analyze how many additions have actually happened how many intersections have actually happened how many uh, subtractions have actually happened to create this wonderful isometric view she had also made some mistakes but you know this is how the students actually make okay just take it very easy okay this is the nata question number 1 the question will be based on the solids uh, sorry the the questions will be based on solid shading and uh, additions inter- intersection isometrics and all that so a metal lunch box a glass water bottle two spoons and a cap are kept on a table as preparation for a trip arrange these subjects to form a three dimensional composition and draw it showing shades and shad- uh, shades and shadowing now there is one more combination which is coming to your life okay that combination is isometric orthographic and uh, oblique projections and you have to actually use them wisely whenever you go for the composition okay then you have you are getting this addition subtraction and intersections also in your uh, because there is a spoon which is inserted there and there is a cap on top there is one spear so all these things are actually getting an addition for you you can understand that and make it say all of you please understand a spoon is not a spoon yeah bottle is not a bottle try to understand bottle is a cylinder try to tell people bottle is a cylinder you imagine how i can actually make a bottle i am not actually a good artist at all please i even won't be no 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 you are not making an artistical bottle you are just making a cylinder so tell them that it is just a cylinder make a cylinder and make it as a uh, they are expecting a cylinder only from you they are not expecting a beautiful thing to happen but they make sure that the shading is actually done once you make the cylinder you know another cylinder on top a small cylinder on top that's it one bottle is actually made so easily you can do it 
second question, exercise number two, this make the isometric view and project it in the parallel lines, orthographic projection, identify all the views. First of all, you identify the edges, project, project the edges, try to visualize the additions and subtractions and intersections in this, mark the surfaces and do it. I've given the answer for this here. The student actually has actually projected all these things and made the plans and elevation and the front elevation. So this is the isometric which is already given. You can see here there is a there is a beautiful cylinder which is got cut here. Okay, there is a beautiful cylinder which got cut here. There is a beautiful cylinder which got cut here. There is an addition of a prism with a with a with a cuboid. So try to understand everything and try to actually make it. This is the not a questions which they ask. These are the not a questions which they already asked. So they actually do this, you know, angular one. Try to actually understand the angular ones properly and try to answer them. These are the answers which I have given you. So you can keep this and practice it at home and answer it. See, there will be lots of questions which will be asked from isometric. There will be lots of questions will be asked from the surface development. See, don't actually, you know, practice what your, uh, some NATA tutors are actually saying, like, you know, you have to do that, you have to, do, don't do it. Do it always right way, as our dean sir always says. Do it always in a right way. Life is always about right ways only. Uh, I have seen one of the people actually, you know, talking about how to, uh, what is the president's name? Abdul, uh, APJ Abdul Kalam. I have seen one of the EPSC places. Uh, uh, Hello. Remember this, then you will actually remember Abdul Kalam. Actually remember him in a proper way altogether. Can you hear me now? Yeah, better. Yes. Right. Next. Thank you so much. The thought of the day is architect B.V. Doshi. I have worked with Doshi in Sangat and I was there for six months. He's one of the wonderful persons. It's a wonderful place to work with. He's a man who actually really, you know, the person who actually worked with Louis Kant and a person who actually created, recreated history in architecture of India. He's a contemporary architect. Uh, one of the interviews he has given latest, you know, I have actually posted that in the group also. One of the mentors for me, whenever we actually get time, sometimes I meet him in Ahmedabad. I was so privileged to be there in Ahmedabad and meet this wonderful Jain and, and a legend. This is Pritzker Award, the way actually Nobel Prize is given for the Peace Awards and all that. This is for the architects. So this is the Pritzker Award. Architect Vivi Doshi is a great Indian architect to win Pritzker Award in 2018. Aptitude, they will be asking this question. Surely they'll be asking this question. Write it. Pritzker Award 2018 is won by Vivi Doshi. Thank you so much for this wonderful moment. Thank you so much. Practice your exercises. See you in the evening. Thank you, Raja, sir. The Shah Rukh Khan of our session. You got us very hungry with all those wonderful cake pictures and pizza. <laughs> yes, uh, I now call upon uh, a young and dynamic uh, professor of SRM uh, IST SAID, Professor Raja Mutaya. He has a good exposure in the field of architecture. He has specialized in building information and modeling and worked in Singapore for a brief period before joining again as a faculty at SRMIST. Raja Mutaya, sir, please. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the warm reception. Uh, good morning, students. I uh, hope you are uh, doing NADA training. Uh, so I wish you all the best to join uh, your uh, dream. Actually, I am an alumni of SRM. I did my uh, BR in the year 1998, passed out. And from there onwards, I am working on uh, uh, architecture. I have been to Singapore uh, for a brief period where I worked on uh, signage industry, which was very productive. And uh, all through this uh, years, SRM is consistently having a very good uh, a track record of uh, having good professors, uh, teaching them, teaching the students. And uh, you can uh, uh, see the state of art facilities uh, which the SRM University has. In 1993, it was an uh, engineering college and uh, uh, through the years, it has uh, progressed to a full-fledged university with all the other departments in uh, collaboration. Now we have a very good research department also. We have uh, a good postgraduate course also being done. 
once you complete your uh, undergraduate you can take up uh, postgraduate also in the university we have a semester abroad program also where you can uh, join a foreign university we have uh, almost 150 universities signed uh, with mou so you can join one any one of the university and go for a short term course and come back and complete your degree year in srm so you have a wide range of opportunities in front of you thank you yeah thank you thank you thank you rajya mataya sir i now call upon another young and very very dynamic uh, professor anup mehta he did his br from srm2 he is also an alumni from the 2000 to 2005 batch he did his ma urban design from newcastle university He is a principal architect of AM Architecture and many other feathers under his cap. Welcome, Anup sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for a warm uh, introduction. Uh, good morning, um, all future architects. Uh, I am a proud, uh, very proud alumni of SRM. Uh, I passed out in two thousand five, and uh, from the time I studied till date, SRM has always been the number one institution. in uh, architecture um, uh, and raja mutaya sir has given all the feathers uh, which srm has and i'm pretty sure you all are aware of what is srm but the, i want to uh, talk about a very small uh, in, but yet important aspect of srm i would proudly say that we have one of the best libraries in all of the architecture schools that i have been to our library is enriched with uh, so many books which is uh, unbelievable i say this because i am from an era where internet came in only after i finished my architecture so our case studies our book studies our net studies i am pretty sure all of the other uh, tutors and moderators here agree with me we never had the opportunity of uh, information available you know in our hands through our mobile that was compensated by srm and we had several uh, other students from other colleges coming into srm uh, writing letter to the then uh, hods requesting permission uh, to access uh, libraries because we also have a great repertoire of uh, thesis uh, because we be, we, have, we have our batch started from 92 raja mutaya sir is one of the super super seniors of this uh, college and i'm proud to be associated with uh, the people like raja mutaya sir professors like raja mutaya sir and we have a very dynamic uh, set of faculty uh, all all the present here uh, moderator arvind sir moderator is anita ma'am by the way you always see her by the name moderator one uh, her name is anita masrinus uh, ma'am i'm giving you a welcome uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, there are a lot of surprises in sir um, Uh, which is unbelievable you know one first the campus is it just blow your mind the uh, the uh, surrounding aspects you know so yesterday i had a parent asking so what 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 you know what about the canteen for example i said what canteen there are canteens it's like a food court here you know it, there, there is no single canteen every day when i come to srm i am spoiled for choice i don't know where to eat we spend half an hour among faculties discussing okay where do we eat now you know oh my god you know okay we had this yesterday we had that okay now what to do you know we are so confused and spoiled for choices that is srm you will be confused and spoiled for choices you know the choice making the owners of making choice is on you and now the owners of making choice of joining srm is on you and that choice is simply by cracking nata the srm interview and the srm mcq entrance tests thank you Thank you so much, Anup sir. By the way, he is also the host who is coordinating all the uh, the entire uh, back show of this session is being completely controlled by Anup and Arvind sir. Thank you so much, Anup. Thank you, thank you. So we are on date on dot again. Thank you for all your attendance and your attentivity and your participation. We shall meet again sharp at six o'clock. Let's uh, keep submitting your work. we will keep reviewing it and let's come back and meet with the same enthusiasm 6 o'clock today thank you thank you so much bye